Okay, this is Lex Berman with part 7 of the QGIS 2.10 tutorials. And I'm going to work on buffers, difference, and clipping. And let's try a problem where I take a data set of railways and I take a data set of power plants and I try to find out all the areas that are within 10 kilometers from a power plant and less than 5 kilometers from a railway. And let me just give you an idea of how that's going to work. All right, so we'll zoom in to our area of interest, which is Taiwan. First, we're going to add the power plants. which uh, is in a different folder right here. So here's the power plants and here's the railways. Add both of those. Okay. So there they are. We can't really see the railways. We better change the uh, symbol on those a little bit. Make them thicker. Okay. We can see stuff now. So we have some railways and we have some power plants. And what we want to know is, first off, what's within 10 kilometers from a power plant and what's less than 5 kilometers from a railway. So to do this stuff, we're going to have to have our units, our, our layers in projected space in meters for it to make sense for the geoprocessing to work. So the first thing we should check is just simply if our data is in a projected coordinate system, which it is, Xi'an 1980, and the railways are in Xi'an 1980. Okay, they're both in the Gauss-Kruger projected space in units of meters. So that's a good start. So the first thing we'll do is we'll buffer those power plants. We'll go in here to vector, and we will do our geoprocessing buffers and the input layer is the power plants that's a karma data set which is a global power plant data set our units are meters so we'll just say 10,000 meters and we'll output it to the desktop and we'll call it power 10 kilometers. So basically they're 10 kilometer buffers around the power plants. So that's, we can see that um, it's quite a lot of area that's got a lot of population that had, is within 10 kilometers of a power plant. The second, second kind of calculation we want was the buffer of the railways. Basically you can do the same way using vector geoprocessing buffer and from the railways, we wanted a distance of, say, 5 kilometers. So that's going to be 5,000 meters. And we can add those. Oh, I didn't choose a, a name for it. So I'm going to call that rail 5 kilometers. So now I have kind of a combination of these just make those a little transparent, that's all. So I have a combination of these power plants and the railways, and I, I basically wanted to know where both the area is within 5 kilometers of a railway and 10 kilometers of a station. So if, if it's more than 10 kilometers of a station, it shouldn't be in there, and if it's more than five kilometers from a railway shouldn't be in there. So it should just basically show me these, these sections. So to do that, I'm going to do a vector analysis difference. And we can go in there to our analysis tools and um, try to find it. Let's see, maybe it's under geometry. Where is it? difference. It's under geoprocessing actually. 
So it's a vector geoprocessing tool difference. And I basically want to know that the railways are different from, oh, actually, no, it's not the railways. It's the railway buffer and the power plant buffer. OK. And I'll put that into an output shape file, which is going to be the difference file, the difference of the rail and the power, essentially. Close. This actually, this is what I wanted to see, because basically what I wanted to know is for example, you know, where would you feel safe about building a certain thing, a hospital or housing, um, that's more than 10 kilometers from a power plant and yet within 5 kilometers of a rail. So maybe that's a good place to put housing, for example. Now one thing to consider before we're done is that there's a kind of an anomaly that's introduced by this which is that the, the clip regions are buffers around the railways and they could extend like beyond the edge of the coast. So we should probably clip, clip those with the edge of our Taiwan coastline, which is more accurate than this country file. So I want to clip the buffers, this difference rail power, with the edge of the Taiwan Xian coast. Xi'an coast, sorry. So here's the difference rail power. I want to clip it with the coastline. And this will be my um, buffer clip. So now what I have is a kind of a interesting result, which is make that transparent so you can see it a little bit better. So basically, if you take a look at this, where's my original uh, Taiwan Karma points? Can you see them? make them a little bit more visible. So basically, we have areas now that are identified which are within 5 kilometers of the rail, but they're more than 10 kilometers from a power plant. Maybe that's the kind of place where you'd want to build housing. It's farther away from a power plant and yet still accessible to the rail, and it's not in the sea because we clipped it to the edge of the map. So there you go. It's a, a way of using buffers, difference, and clipping to run some analysis.